Kiss my lips and then you took my breath away. So I want to know. And what makes this so special? This is an authentic Neve 1073. One of the things that I love is that it's, it's kind of hard to turn these knobs here because that's what it was designed for. And that's how you know it's authentic. It's a tough guy here. It's a real tough guy. <laughs> What's up, Archie Beats here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. Today we have one of my most requested guests on the channel, the AMS Neve 1073 SPX. I talk about this a lot in my vocal chain videos, the celebrity vocal chain videos, my vocal chain videos. This is the modern version of my favorite preamp of all time. And I wanted to give you guys a real world situation. We have a Norman U87 going into the Neve 1073 and into the Harry Heritage Audio Tube Sessor. Yes, put an optical compressor on there. And this is actually built to spec of the famous Tube Tech. And it has some more options, but that's another video. I just wanted to set it up in a nice signal chain so you all can hear it in a real world, real studio professional situation. Right now, I'm actually speaking through that signal chain. What do you think about my vocals in the beginning of the video? What do you like most about that signal chain and vocal chain? Comment below. I can tell you right now, the songs that you all hear, recent songs, 10 years ago songs, about 60% of them were probably recorded with a Neve 1073, a vintage one or the modern day version of it. And also, if you're interested in this, I do have it listed in the description below. And when you use those links, you help my channel out and we get to make more cool videos like this. And also, if you're interested in videos like this, hey, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video. Thank you. So the AMS Neve 1073 is a microphone preamp with an EQ on board. It is equipped with 80 decibel of gain, a three band EQ and transformer balance class A circuitry. And we also have a high pass filter and and polarity reverse on this beautiful magnificent unit and what makes this so special this is an authentic neve 1073 one of the things that i love is that it's, it's kind of hard to turn these knobs here because that's what it was designed for and that's how you know it's authentic it's a tough guy here it's a real tough guy <laughs> this is literally the holy grail of microphone preamps the clarity the punch and it really gives the vocal or instrument because it's di as well that authority in a mix and it's just it's really awesome and with it being birthed in the golden age of analog that's some pretty cool class A circuitry inside of here. And I am on a lifelong journey of hunting down the most coolest analog stuff that I could possibly find and create some pretty dope records with it. So let's start from the front panel here. As you can see over here, we have our front button. This switch here switches the audio input to the front mic line combo connector right here. You guys see I'm plugged in right here at the front. Then of course we have our digi switch. This switch is the line input and output to the rear digital module at the back here, which we will look at later when we visit the back of this unit. And then right here we have our XLR combo jack, of course. This is where we plug our microphone into. And we have our 48 volts for all those cool condenser microphones in your mic locker that you can power there on then we have our low Z input here when you press this button here the low Z switches to reconfigure the input to 300 ohms on the input keep in mind the default input is 1200 ohms when you hit the high Z it switches it to 300 ohms the lift button provides ground for a DI input so if there are buzz or hum you press this button then you have your negative 20 right here this provides 20 DB of attenuation to a DI input and then you have your DI input this is your high impedance balance input and here we have our famous maroon reddish mic knob right here now let's move to the eq section here we have our high frequency switch our mid frequency switch and then our low frequency switch and also right next to that we have our high pass filter we have our phase switch right here then we have our eq this switch is on that equalization section that i just talked about right here and also we have our pre this positions the insert loop before the equalization circuit and then we have our level knob right here this is just the output of the audio level and then we have our takeoff LED indication section here. And then our level meters and our sample rate indicator is right here as well. At the back here, we have our power. And then we have a fuse. And then our mic input, a balanced microphone line input at the back. Remember, if you hit that button at the front, you hit the front button, it's going to cut that and kill that at the back. And everything is going to be diverted to the front here. Then you have a balanced line input. The inserts, send, and return are balanced as well. And then you have a balanced line output. Then your digital digital option panel. You have an option digital module 
can be fitted right in this panel at the back here, just in case if you want that upgrade. Well, I really do hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, be sure to comment them below. I'll be happy to answer your question about it. I have a few Neve tools here in my home studio. If you have any analog questions, ask away. If you want me to talk about some gear on this channel, hey, comment below as well. You all have been absolutely fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to be great and create. This is your Barcha Beats, and I am signing off.